Hi folks, welcome to MTS. Today we are going to unbox the new Lionel Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory Lion Chief Bluetooth freight set and the two add-on freight cars that were featured in Lionel's catalog at the beginning of 2023. Thanks to the folks over at Train World, I was able to pre-order earlier this year and they were delivered a few weeks ago. With that, We'll get started. The one thing I really liked when I first saw the set in the catalog was the paint scheme with the purple and gold and orange and pink colors. It really grabs at that uh, retro 70s look. Second, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, uh, the Gene Wilder version, is uh, one of my family's favorite movies. Packaging really pops. This is the uh, everlasting gobstopper stopper tanker car. See all the everlasting gobstoppers inside the tank there. And this is the Wonka Bar uh, freight car. Wonka Bar freight car. We're just going to stick these to the side for now. And figure out how to get this open. Once you open the box, just it up and got everything right there in front of you. So it looks like it's got this piece of film to the top of it. We're just going to cut that off. Just held in place with some tape here. This is our, should be our power adapter. Also a little piece of scotch tape holding that in place. Okay. And we have our remote. We'll need to get three AAA batteries. Next up is the tender. Speaker and the coupler to hook it up to the locomotive. Have the Call that an aquarium car yeah. uh, with the Wonka bars and the Oompa Loompas. <laughs> Have the gondola uh, featuring some candies from the movie Everlasting Gobstopper. Fizzy lifting drinks. <laughs> and 
and it's got the Oompa Loompas there that chase each other around the gondola. And finally, it just the caboose looks like it's illuminated. This section of our instructions. Our cardboard, we have the 080 steam switcher. There's a locomotive. And it's got the traditional fire, firemen and engineer figures. I half expected them to be Oompa as well. <laughs> and then we have our fast track loop. Packaging since I've last seen it. Just traditional fast track. Okay, we're gonna get all this together, uh, go over to the floor here in the basement and set up the loop and uh, get going. Okay, that was a semi ordeal. All of my extension cords are being used, utilized with Christmas lights throughout the house, so I had to find an extension cord. As stated, we uh, had the remote here. We're going to go ahead and put in three new AAA batteries. Next, we're going to go ahead and construct our fast track loop. So we have our eight uh, 36 degree curves and then two of our standard fast track 10 inch straight tracks. Have one for the AC adapter that'll plug into the side there. And then this one to operate an accessory, uh, one of the plug and play accessories that Lionel has put, together, put out recently. Okay, we'll finish doing the loop. I'll bring you back in just a minute. So one of the issues I just come across 
is I was trying to assemble the curved track to the straight track. As you can see, uh, the center rail is actually wanting to hit on the outside of that. So nothing a little a pair of pliers won't fix, but I'm just going to bend that tab from there in inward uh, so that just goes right together. all together we'll go ahead and get the track power set up and start getting the freight cars on. Forgot the other rolling sock. We're gonna go ahead and get those unboxed real quick. The packaging is very impressive. There's the golden ticket. <laughs> but we're we'll in our train club. Can't play with the boxes. There we go. Everlasting gobstoppers. One thing that I see right off, a little disappointed, the the trucks are just the standard black here. I know they're the die cast metal sprung trucks, which no, yeah. no, nope, nope. these are die cast metal sprung trucks here on the tank car as well. So yeah, that's a miss. I I, I would have much rather preferred that having the gold colored trucks to match the rest of the train set. Now leave a comment for me in the comment section below there. I think it's a miss, but at the same time, I can understand why they manufactured it that way. So it, you could buy the freight car and be able to use it on in multiple trains. All right, we're gonna go get some uh, smoke fluid. Since we're testing it out, we're gonna go ahead and make sure the smoke is turned on, which it is. We have our chuff, chuffing sounds. We're gonna turn those on. Really anxious to see um, what the the sounds are gonna do with this with this unit. Be right back. Always a good idea to read the instructions. So uh, traditionally, some of the smoke units required, especially brand new out of box, would require ten to I think twelve different drops. Uh, now they're saying only four drops uh, on the initial. just for prosperity there. Okay, we'll go ahead and plug in the track power. Okay, let's give it a whistle. Huh, that's right. It's the little flute that Willy Wonka uses. Bell sound. Let's see what we got. 
got for crew talk? This is engine 2323. We're ready to get this special delivery on the move. All the candy has been loaded and the freight is secure. Let's roll out. 2323 here. All personnel have boarded and we are ready to depart. We're on standby. Let's get this candy moving. Let's go ahead and get started. Here, I use my Lion Chief app on my phone to operate the locomotive. The screen recorder uh, cut off some of the buttons, but wanted to give you an idea on how the app worked. Uh, once you link the locomotive in the app, the rest is basic functionality. engine 2323 we're ready to get this special delivery on the move okay here's some i guess final thoughts uh is the paint scheme cool yes um does it have that lionel quality uh and that standard absolutely um is it worth it <laughs> uh so I think retail price on this thing was every bit of $3.99. I'll have to I'll have to double check the catalog. The uh, additional rolling stock uh, was uh, I think over $60 a piece, right? So, um, so yeah. Um, from a from a value standpoint, not so much. Uh, but I think 
Uh, obviously, you know, again, for I think this is pulling on the nostalgia chords, right? So, um, again, this is was my or is my wife's uh, favorite Willy Wonka uh, in the Chocolate Factory favorite movie. Uh, so, you know, that got that going for it, right? Will it look great around your Christmas tree? Absolutely. Uh, just as most Lionel trains are. <laughs> they look awesome around those Christmas trees. So, um, hope you uh, enjoyed uh, watching the video. Hope you got a little bit out of it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the line.